Four years ago, Hollywood was stunned by a movie called Facing the Giants. It only cost $100,000 to make, but grossed over $10 million. Then in 2008, Fireproof was produced by just a half a million dollars, and it pulled more than $33 million. Now one of the producers of both these movies has a new release called Letters to God. Wendy Griffith has that story. When people see how strong... Letters to God is inspired by the true story of eight-year-old Tyler Dowdy and his courageous battle with brain cancer. Tyler talks to God by writing letters and mailing them every day. His letters, which are really prayers, end up in the hands of a beleaguered postman who's searching for meaning in his own life. Letters to God. This kid on my route is writing these. What am I supposed to do with these? It's your journey, Brady. God, I really just wish my mom would laugh. Could you send someone that can make her happy? Ten-year-old Tanner McGuire plays Tyler in his first big screen role. Tanner, tell me about Tyler's relationship with God in the movie. How did he view God? Tyler views God as like a best friend, as a friend. Mm -hmm. He writes these letters to God as he would a kid texting another friend. Jeffrey Johnson, who plays the postman, says these letters are exactly what it took to reach his character's heart. You know, they talk about the, you know, the wisdom from the mouth of babes. It makes a lot of sense because uh, you never know where, where these answers are going to come from. And when we first see him at the church, he just kind of peeks in. Then he slowly works his way closer and closer and closer. So, so he doesn't realize that he's looking for it. It kind of finds him. Hey, can I, uh, can I pray for you? No, no, really, I'm good. That's not necessary. It's, uh, I, um, it's what I do. Patrick Dowdy, Tyler's real-life father, wrote letters to God after Tyler lost his battle with cancer. He believes his son's courage and childlike faith will give others hope. Not just the hope for people that are going through cancer, but the hope for those that are left behind, to know that this is not, this isn't it. There's more to life. There's more to... Uh, that goes on after life. You know, we have a, a eternity with God. Uh, if you place your trust in, in Jesus Christ. Although the film is inspired by his son's battle with cancer, Dowdy admits at first, Letters to God was just a cool title for a movie, more of a metaphor for Tyler's life. It wasn't until after his son had passed away and a year and a half after the screenplay was written that he found Tyler's real letters to God. I was going through one of his desk drawers and I came across this little uh, notepad and I flipped it open and I started reading uh, some of the things he'd written in there and there was some funny things, uh, you know, things about his sister and so forth and I'd get a little chuckle out of it and I kept flipping through and I, I stopped at one and said, Dear God, and I just, it hit me because I was, you know, I screamed out for my wife, and I ran in and showed her, and I said, you know, and then I flipped over, and there's another one, and I said, he actually did write to God. Dowdy says no words can describe the pain of losing his son, but says there's comfort in knowing that with this movie, Tyler will reach countless people for Christ. And it's amazing to me that five years after he passed away, he's, you know, again, touching more lives, and just the legacy that, uh, that will continue on because of him. Trust God, Maddie. Whatever his will, Maddie. We know what I don't agree with his will, Mom. Robin Lively, who plays Tyler's mom, Maddie, says the role gave her a new respect for families coping with cancer. I truly believe that um, people that are faced with challenges like this, that the only way to get through something like that is with God. Director David Nixon believes Hollywood is seeing the light when it comes to movies about faith. I've always had a dream to make Christian films and use this incredible medium to get the gospel out. But until about six years ago, you, you couldn't even do that because you couldn't get a film like this, a theatrical distribution. Uh, it was just impossible until The Passion came out. And when Mel Gibson made about $600 million, it kind of opened the eyes of Hollywood and they said, well, we want some of these God films. Johnson says being on the set of a faith-based movie was a totally new experience. Everyone's so helpful and so loving and, and uh, everyone believed so deeply in what we were doing. So people were like praying for you between yeah. sets? Yeah, and... it was fantastic. <laughs> Typically I'm, I'm you know, used to doing my own praying, but it was nice to have other people help, helping out.
Nixon says along with the movie, they're releasing several books and even a sermon series for pastors. Letters to God comes to theaters nationwide on April 9th. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Los Angeles. <clears throat> Something you can look forward to, and I appreciate that this isn't the same uh, group that brought out those other two blockbusters, mm -hmm. but they were marvelous movies, yeah. and I hope this uh, is as good. All right. I know. I love how the world is embracing yeah, uh, yeah. just faith-based faith films and well, just to know that there's hope out there. They're the human emotion which yeah. we all share, and uh, we've Hollywood has studiously covered it up for many years. Mm -hmm. Now it's coming out uh, in the true form. All exactly. Right.